In the previous video, we created our first product return. Now, we'll cover the basics of return processing. In this video, we'll imagine that the customer has returned the product to the return center. We'll receive the product into the system, learn about processing options, test the product and document its condition. To get started, click the Returns tab. The return we previously created is in the Receiving view. Click on the return to open the main return page. To begin the receiving process, click the Receive link. The first task is to document the incoming package details. Choose the carrier and service used by the customer to return the product and scan or enter the shipment tracking number. Next, scan or enter the product serial number. This field is important as it will allow the product to be tracked throughout the process. If your products don't have serial numbers, this option can be disabled under brand settings. Confirm that the actual product received is the same as that specified on the return. If different, the correct product could be chosen here. Also confirm the quantity received. In this example, an accessory was received with the product. We'll select it to make sure that it will ship when the replacement product is shipped to the customer. The Notes field lets us document any important info about the receiving process. Click the Save button to receive the product. Back at the main return page, we can see that the customer has been sent an email notification informing them that their product has been received. Let's take a look at the email that they received. On the email, the customer can confirm exactly what was received and when. You can customize this email to include company-specific information, such as turnaround time or special instructions. Now let's go back to the return, which is now in the processing view. By default, the return automatically moves to processing status after receiving. However, if your company is not focused on testing or repair services, and you mainly issue replacements for return products, you can change the post-receive status setting to shipping under return center options. Open the return and click the edit link for the product line item. On this page, we could enter the serial number of the replacement product or change the action for the product from replace to repair or return as is. Now it's time to test the product. Click the serial number link to go to the product test page. Note that the status of the serial number is untested and the location is in-house. The test entry form allows you to keep track of the failures of your incoming products and document their condition. By default, one test is defined. You can change this test and add more tests under settings. We have the option of selecting a test that has failed or documenting the condition of the unit as tested and passed, like new, DOA, physically damaged, and more. For this example, let's say that the product has failed a defined test and save the test entry. Now the serial number page has been updated to show the status has failed and the information about the test entry that was performed. To go back to the return, simply click the return link. Now that the product has been received and tested, the return can be moved to shipping status and the replacement shipped to the customer. To change the status, click the Edit button, change the status to Shipping, and click Save. Now the return is ready to ship. That concludes processing your first return. In the next video, We'll cover what's required to generate a shipping label to send the replacement product back to the customer and complete the return. Please send any questions to help at supportsync.com. And thanks for watching.